In World 7-1, we start here with these three bullet bill cannons. In the arcade, there is a small pit in between them. Next up are these two rows of bricks occupied by a couple of Hammer Brothers. In the arcade, the bricks are all mystery boxes. Next is this bullet bill cannon with a small pipe after. In the arcade, a small pit is added in between. And last is this ending sequence starting with the bullet bill double cannon with two sets of stair blocks and a buzzy beetle going to the flagpole. In the arcade, a pit is added after the bullet bill cannon, a water pit is added after the first smaller set of stair blocks, and the buzzy beetle is replaced with three Goombas. The minor programming changes to this sublevel were subtle and well done. It just makes you wonder why they couldn't do this instead of recycling so many sublevels in this game. Moving on to World 7-2, and yes, we have yet another recycled sublevel. Exactly the same as World 2-2, just more enemies. This is just plain freaking laziness to me. The programmers didn't even try on this one. This is supposed to be the 26th sublevel out of 32. It should not be this easy. Well, the arcade provides plenty of challenge. They could have easily made some programming changes to make this level easier on the NES. Don't get me wrong, the arcade is hard, but not World 6-3 hard. It's more of a pain in the ass if you don't have fireballs. If I were a programmer, I would have reduced the amount of enemies and gotten rid of the moving platforms, as that can produce some cheap deaths sometimes. Oh well. Moving on to World 7-3. I should just paste the previous comments as we have yet another recycled sublevel. Just like World 2-3 except more flying fish plus Koopas are added throughout. I don't know, maybe the programmers were smoking some really good pot and just got lazy or something. Yeah, I know, I'm reaching. Now, I will say this. As much as I hate the whole recycling sublevel shit, I am willing not to be as critical with this level as the arcade is pretty damn hard. It's challenging enough with all the jumps, and add the flying fish just adds more frustration to an already frustrating level. But you can't quit now. Think back in the 80s when you were playing this game in the arcade. You're on World 7-3. You've already fed this machine $20 and quarters. There's no turning back. You are so close to the end. Moving on to the seventh castle, World 7-4. This is the second and final maze level for the NES and Arcade. These levels are almost identical, except for the path of the maze. The Arcade runs the more difficult route, while the NES stays easy and more conservative. The only difference is towards the end here before the fake Bowser. The Arcade adds a series of small pits, but very well done here. 